what's going on you guys I just woke up grab a snack because it's time to talk today I'm snacking on an acne pill and a bowl of frosted Cheerios now the Cheerios are a lot less frosted than I thought they were gonna be so now I'm just snacking on a bowl of Cheerios and I hate that okay you guys today we're talking about a very serious issue the Paul brothers now I titled this video Jake Paul and not the Paul brothers because I'm really only gonna be talking about Jake Paul but I will get Logan Paul out of the way for a second this guy, if you haven't seen his videos, uh, don't go watch them. They're just these clickbait vlogs that are pretty much just the same thing every day. He's this high energy guy. His vlogs just come at you too hard. You're like, okay, like I don't need to be yelling and whooping for your bird every day. But it's YouTube, you can make whatever you want. I don't really give a shit. So my only problem with Logan was his vlog at VidCon. This grown ass adult who knows that he is not supposed to be out in the courtyards at VidCon because fans will swarm and he could get hurt. All the other kids could get hurt from being trampled or something by this mass crowd. Bystanders can get hurt that aren't even his fans and just happen to be there at the same time he decided to walk out into a group of fans that are like 13 years old. Hundreds of people, hundreds of children were swarming him with no regard to anyone around them, just like Logan Paul. And in this video that he made of it, he's vlogging the whole thing, and he's like, oh my god, this is insane. Yeah, it's insane, Logan. And I thought that maybe he was going to do some type of follow-up video where it was like, I'm sorry that I put lives in danger, but that didn't happen. And even if he did, you know it wouldn't be genuine because in his video, he put this epic, like, inspirational music behind all these kids swarming to him. Okay, so clearly he did not realize the danger he was putting these people in. And later in the video, he's getting dragged into the building by security, because security's like, you're not supposed to be out here for this exact reason, because all these kids are trampling each other to get to you. So as he's being dragged away by security, Logan's like vlogging with one hand and dabbing with the other as he's getting dragged away from the neck by security. That's just not a quality person. And then, security is just trying to help this guy, like get the f out of this crowd before someone gets hurt. And when they get in the building to avoid any type of responsibility, Logan books it, he gets out of the security guard's grasp, and is on this hot pursuit by security through VidCon. Like, that's so disrespectful to security, to VidCon, to the fans, to everyone there. He's just, it was just a child. And honestly, that's the only thing. Because I cannot like someone's content that they post and still be like, they're probably an okay person though. But after watching that, did not make him seem like a very good person. But you know, his roast rap to his brother Jake Paul is like roast rap of him after his It's Every Day Bro music video. I... I hate that I liked it so much. It was really well done, I gotta say. So props to Logan for that. That was a good video. I thoroughly enjoyed that one. And Jenna Marbles, I was watching one of her videos and they're discussing Jake Paul as well. And Jenna Marbles has said that Logan Paul was a good kid. Like, she's met him, she's talked to him before, and she said he was genuinely nice. So, I hope that's what he's like, and I hope the VidCon incident was just a stupid decision on his part, and maybe he realizes that. So, I do not hate Logan Paul. I do, however, hate Jake Paul. You guys, Jake Paul has put the lives of his neighbors in danger, he has a doxxed post Malone, and he's just a terribly huge douche. He has no respect for anybody- oh my god. He has no respect for anybody but himself. This guy is 20 or 21 years old, I don't remember. Um, but he's an adult. I've seen a lot of people defending his actions because they're like, He's still a kid, he doesn't know any better, boys will be boys. No, bitch! And if you are gonna pull shit, 
like emptying out your pool and making a giant bonfire that got out of hand. Don't buy a house in the nicest part of Hollywood. Get out to the country, buy a house there, where you won't be endangering the lives of the people around you. Also, after his neighbors kind of called the police or something and were like, listen, this kid's getting out of hand, a news team went over and kind of confronted him about it. And he goes, well, you know, there's, I'm sorry, but there's nothing we can do. I know I'm the one causing all these problems, but there's literally nothing we can do. He's like, you know what we gotta do on those haters? We gotta dab on them haters. Your neighbors that have families and are just trying to live a normal life are not haters. The level of disrespect you have to have to call your concerned neighbors who are just trying to live normal lives that they've worked very hard for, haters. And then at the end of that news interview, he goes, I just have one question for you. What are those? To the news reporter. What are those, Jake Paul? Really? Really? Get your stale meme using ass out of YouTube. Because we do not want videos of you going to apologize to your neighbors while filming them and secretly recording them on YouTube. And then, on top of everything, so Jake's Paul address is publicly known, so anyone can just go to his house and look at the houses next to him and go, those are his neighbors. Now this next video Jake Paul made was called, My Neighbors Try to Kill Me, which A, I don't blame them. B, they f***ing didn't. Someone loosened the screws on one of your tires or something. Saying your neighbors tried to kill you is a pretty serious accusation, Jake. I'm sure you have lots of proof to back this statement up. Ooh, except you don't. You don't have any proof or evidence or anything to support that your neighbors tried to kill you by loosening the screws on the tire to your Team 10 van. These neighbors have an unlimited amount of better things to do than to go unscrew the screws on your Team 10 van on one tire. Also, these people are smart enough that if they really wanted to kill you or something, I think they'd do a lot more than just unscrew the screws on a tire. And now, he already has fans coming to his house all the time. So what's stopping fans from coming to his house and going to attack his neighbors? There's some crazy people out there, and if someone was a hardcore enough fan of Jake Paul, I would not be surprised if someone tried to attack one of his neighbors or something. And of course Jake Paul does not realize the severity of his accusations and the severity of having his address publicly known. And now these people who never wanted to get involved in anything related to Jake Paul are involved because they were secretly recorded. Also, he doxed Post Malone, I, I won't breeze past that, but he did not blur out where Post Malone lives. He recorded Post Malone without permission, secretly, and the video actually just makes Post Malone look like such a nice guy, because he is. He's just this genuinely nice, always willing to give people a chance kind of guy. And at the end, he was totally trolling Jake Paul and his friend, like, Oh, so I was thinking, like, you could put in, like, rap one of the verses in a new song. And Post Malone is like, yeah, sure, can, only can Ethan do it too? From H3H3. Guys, if you have not watched Ethan Klein's videos on H3H3, go do it. They are a million times better than this video I'm making right now. It has more information about Jake Paul. It has clips from his videos to help back up everything he's saying. Uh, it's just way better. So go to H3H3's channel and watch his Viner videos and his Jake Paul videos. They are the most informative quality content on YouTube. Honestly, you guys, Ethan and Ela are the only reliable news source now, so... And Ethan is a good, good friend of Post Malone. So, he's got more of a scoop on the Post Malone issue than I do. Just know that Jake Paul disrespected Post Malone. Not to mention, the reason they went to his house is because they went to hand deliver the merch that Post Malone had bought from them as a joke. So they had to illegally obtain Post Malone's shipping information from the merch website. But he's, he's only 20, he's still a kid. You know how teenage boys are. Is it, uh, 
He's not a teenage boy, he's not a kid, he's an adult. Jake Paul's age is no excuse for his actions. And all this stuff that has happened with Jake Paul is so much more of an issue than the everyday bro video, which is the main reason everyone started hating Jake Paul. But we're gonna talk about it anyway. <coughs> So this music video, if you have not seen it, you will lose brain cells. Basically, it's him and a bunch of his friends with shitty lyrics. One of those lyrics happens to be, It's everyday bro with the Disney Channel flow. <laughs> now, if you didn't know, because I did not, Jake Paul was on a Disney show called Bizarre Vark. So about a month after he posted this music video, uh, he got fired from Disney. Which means all the shit he's been pulling lately is such a serious issue that Disney decided to drop him because they did not want him with the publicity he's been getting to be associated with Disney. So I'm going to read to you what he posted on Twitter about his decision to leave Disney. What's up, Jake Paulers? I hate to have to throw crazy news on you guys all at once, but since we are a family, I know you guys will understand and be super supportive. Long story short, dot dot dot. My team, Disney Channel, and I have come to the agreement it's finally time for me to move on from the Disney family and Bizarre Park. Oh, um, did y'all come to that agreement? Because about a month ago, you were just rapping about how cool it was that you were on Disney. He continues to talk about how he has outgrown the channel and he feels it's time to move forward with his career. I'd also like to point out that not seven days earlier, he posted a tweet saying, Bizarre Vark is making waves because he was so proud to be on that show. Oh, but I'm sure, I'm sure you guys have been discussing this a lot. You've been thinking about it for a long time, about leaving Disney and stuff. Really, bitch? Really? Because you rapped about it, you tweeted about it. You just don't want people to know that you got fired from Disney because of the bad publicity you have been getting. Which you deserve, but own up to your mistakes. At least Logan Paul's being smart about what he's doing. He's kind of distancing himself from his brother. He knows how to make clickbait that people are actually going to click on and not be uncomfortable by. Now what I mean by this is Jake Paul posted a video with some girl who's clearly uncomfortable being blindfolded and having three guys kiss her, one of which is Jake Paul, one of which is Jake Paul's dad, I'd assume. Maybe it's some actor he hired to pretend to be his dad. Either way, it's weird, it's creepy, it's disgusting. And even his 13-year-old fans were commenting on it being like, this is weird, Jake. So these 13-year-olds are smarter and have more common sense than this 20-year-old Jake Paul. And these are girls who absolutely love him. He's their world. They worship him. And they are saying, Jake, this is f***ing weird. We don't like this. What are you doing? Anyway, you guys, Jake Paul's just not a good person. If you want to know more about the shit that Jake Paul's pulling, seriously, just go to H3H3's channel. Alright, we'll see you guys later. Bye.